Farooz Mahmoud Mohammed can't stop crying. Less than a month ago, he was a successful carpenter in Yemen. But when the bullets and bombs came too close, his family was forced to flee. Their eldest son stayed behind, 27 years old, too afraid of snipers to run. <laughs> Farooz paid $1,300 for his family to be transported on a ship to safety in Djibouti. More than 2,000 people have fled Yemen since violence erupted last month. Refugees frantically boarded ships and crowded boats, crossing the Gulf of Aden to Djibouti and Somalia's Puntland and Somaliland. They didn't have time to pack. They, they just arrived here disoriented and they didn't know what to do. So it's, uh, it's clear that these people need assistance and need help. For now, at least 400 new arrivals stay in two transit sites. They'll soon be moved to a newly erected camp in northern Djibouti. Humanitarian agencies expect tens of thousands of people to flee in the coming months. Baruz and others say they're grateful to be alive, but have little hope for the future. UNHCR and its partners are providing basic assistance, but this is a desolate and poor place. Much more will be required to help both the refugees and authorities cope.